Carrie here from Healing Humanity, and today I'm going to show you my top favorite must have carnivore tools, carnivore gadgets, things that get me through on carnivore. I'm on day like 450 right now. We're going to make this quick, we're going to make this fun. I'm going to show you the most essential, maybe not in perfect order, but pretty close order. The first thing I want to show you is this this is from Typhur. T Y P H U R. This is a thermometer. My number one tip for you on carnivore. You're going to be cooking a lot of meat, steaks, roasts, things like that, chicken. You always want to cook to temperature, not to time. There's these little charts online that say, cook your steak eight minutes on one side, six minutes on the other side. Don't listen to any of that. It has to be cooked to temperature. You can get yourself an instant read thermometer. They sell those on Amazon, but you're better off getting one of these. And this is my favorite. I've tested out several different versions. Look, this has this little thing on the back here, pops open. You can set it here. You can set it here. You've got two thermometers, number one and number two. And you pull out number one, you put it in your meat, and you get the reading right there. Look, it's 76 degrees out right now. And it'll read right on here, and this has an app, so it'll go into my phone, so it's Bluetooth. The reason I like this, though, is most of these Bluetooth ones only have an app, and it's always a nightmare because you got to update your phone or you're out of Bluetooth range or something like that. This one reads it out on here or the app. So every time I'm out here cooking, I have this sitting here and I don't have to futz around with my phone. A lot of times I'm filming with my phone. It's also cool because it has two thermometers. They're Bluetooth. You can put one in the smoker and you can get the ambient, the temperature of the smoke box. And then you can put one in the meat. Or if you're doing a big like brisket, you can probe it from two different sides and you'll get two readings on here. The, like I said, the coolest thing with this is don't have to have a smartphone and it'll do all those updates because it reads it right on here but you have that as an option i will have a link in the description below for this number two is this what is this this is green pan i'll have a link for everything we're doing in the description below. why is this important this is a ceramic pan those teflon non-stick pans are absolutely horrible for you they get up to heat and they've, they've done science on this um they're off gas toxins that if you breathe enough of them in, they'll kill you. Um, if nothing else, it's probably slowly killing you or giving you cancer or something else. This is ceramic. Stainless steel is also really good, but it's trickier to cook on. I love this one because it's so easy to cook on. Stuff doesn't stick. I'll usually use a little butter or tallow in here, but it is PFOA free. There aren't forever chemicals in here and there aren't toxins in here like there are with other pans. Here's another must have for a carnivore. This one is so important. It's carnivore for life run with the pack we have these with healing humanity these are all on our website i'll have a link in the description below i'm not just trying to shamelessly plug it uh we offer these because i think they're important what is that it's a stainless steel tumbler these are absolutely incredible i'm not trying to hype them up but i'll tell you what i put ice and water in here i put it i take a little sip before i go to bed i set it on my nightstand i will wake up in the morning and there's still ice in it this thing holds the ice. But why is it important? Because when you're using plastics, Dr. Barry's done excellent videos on these. If you're drinking out of a plastic cup or a plastic water bottle, you are getting microplastics in your body to the tune of one credit card worth of plastic a week. They just had this thing on the news. It was disgusting and horrifying about the amount of microplastics in men's testicles. They are accumulating in our bodies at unprecedented rates. They've all, they're also finding them in arteries. And they may be the cause for some people having heart disease. And it's just getting worse and worse and worse. A lot of that is from plastic water bottles and drinking out of plastic cups. This is not plastic. This is stainless steel. So with the cookware, if you can do stainless steel, great. With the drinkware, if you can do stainless steel, you buy this thing once, you have it forever. So we sell these on the site. The beautiful thing is if you buy our shirts, if you buy this, if you, there's cutting boards on there too. If you buy the cutting board, every penny that we get from profit goes 100% towards our documentary, Healing Humanity. We're trying to help the hopeless, but wait, there's more. What is this? This is a Spider Co. You see that? That takes years to learn that. It says, you see what it says on there, Alyssa? Can you read that? Providence, baby. This was gifted to me. Well, an identical copy of this that I have right 10 feet away from me right now was gifted to me by my best buddy, Bill Knott, out in Alaska. This is an incredible knife. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's Bill's prize knife he gave me. I purchased a second because Bill said it's good to have one. It's better to have two. You always got to have a backup plan. And they engraved this one with Providence, which is the word that Bill and I use a lot. This is good. Why is a carnivore? Because constantly cutting into packaging, um, 
cutting my steaks out to do the thing. I've used this around a campfire to cut and eat with it. You got to clean it off afterwards sort of thing, but good carnivore always has a good knife on them. What else is important? Let me show you this. Another shameless plug. Maybe, maybe not. Everyone on carnivore pretty much knows about Redmond's real salt. Why is it so important? Ancient fine sea salt. The salt does not supply iodine. This is natural and it has the minerals in it. Most of the table salt you get is garbage and it's got dextrose in it, which is another form of sugar. We have these, another shameless plug, but a lot of people are liking these if you want to support our documentary. They're all in random little keychain holders. You put this on your keychain and what do you have there? You have a little Redmond's fine salt that you can take with you. If you're going out to eat, if you're going to a family reunion, you're going to a friend's house, bring your own clean salt. Why do a great, excellent, clean carnivore diet, eating like a proper human, and then you put some crappy salt on that's got sugar and it's bleached and it's bad for you? Put this on your keychain, put it in your purse, you can take it with you. The cool thing with these two, you don't have to keep rebuying them. Um, you just unscrew the cover, you take the big one, you refill it at home, and you're good to go. So these are for sale on our website. I'll have a link in the description below. And again, I'm not, we're not profiting. I don't get any penny off of any of this. If you purchase these, every penny of profit goes 100% towards our documentary. And these have been a big supporter. Ever since our 24-hour live stream, people have been loving these things. But what else do we have? I showed you ceramic. Now I got to show you the true winner, cast iron skillet. This is one of my favorites. I think this is a lodge. This is a huge one. I don't even remember where I got this. These things will last a lifetime. You want to keep these well seasoned. I use beef tallow. I make sure there's a little bit of tallow in there. Otherwise, it'll get rusty. This is one of the cleanest things you can cook out, and it makes your food taste incredible. One of my favorite foods eating on this is, of course, a ribeye steak. But you cook it low and slow, and then you sear it in here in Wagyu beef tallow, maybe a little bit of butter. It's absolutely incredible. A good carnivore has to have a cast iron skillet, and a good carnivore has to have one of these. This is a cutting board, a big, thick cutting board like Dr. Sean Baker has. I copied Dr. Sean Baker because I love that man. He's incredible. Carnivores, I got, I got grease on my hand now. Carnivores don't care about grease on their hands. Carnivores cook, carnivores eat on a cutting board. Why would you take your big juicy steak and put it on a plate and then cut it? A couple reasons for that. Number one, it saves your knives. If you're cutting on a plate with your knife, it will dull your knife quicker. You cut on a cutting board, it won't dull as quickly. Number two, why mess up a plate? You should be cutting on a cutting board. You can cut right on here. You can pour your salt on it, eat it. I've been doing it ever since I saw Dr. Sean Baker do it, and I absolutely love it. Uh, cutting boards, you can get all over the place. I really like this one. I've had it for a while, but I also have cutting boards on our website that we sell, and there, some of them are engraved. Some of them say uh, Compassionate Carnivore. I think we've got some Healing Humanity ones. They're all on our website. Link in the description below. Moving right along, here's another thing that every carnivore should have, and this one's going to be a little unusual. This one needs to be a little cleaned off too. What is he talking about? Why would a rack be so important? This is critical. This is absolutely critical. Someone taught me this in the comments way back in the day, and it's so true. You cook your steak. You get a perfect steak. What do you do? Most people do. They make a big mistake. They pull out their knife. They cut right into the steak, and all the juice comes up. You have to let it rest. While your steak is resting, it's still getting up to temperature. While your steak is resting, if you rest it on a cutting board, a flat surface, a plate, all of the heat from that steak is getting sucked out of it because it's touching the surface. You rest your steak on a rack. It is carnivore 101 power tip. You rest your steak on this rack, you get airflow underneath it, and that heat doesn't pull, and there, pull up underneath the steak, and therefore the juices retain in the steak, and it's a million times better. Cheap little rack, you can get this at probably any Walmart, grocery store, Amazon, whatever. I'll put a link in the description for that too to save you guys the trouble. Here is another game changer for carnivores. It's right here. Let's just stand up. Let's show them this thing. This is my Yoder smoker. You don't have to have a Yoder smoker. You can get a Traeger smoker. They sell all sorts of different types of smokers. This takes pellets. Why is this critical for carnivores? Oh my goodness. People say, don't you get sick of eating steak? I never, I could eat the same steak every day. I don't get sick of it, but this helps because you can prepare a steak a million ways. And when you smoke a steak, these are pellets. These are cherry pellets. And these go in here and there's a little fire and it makes smoke and the smoke comes out and it smokes the meat, but it flavors the meat. So you get a nice cherry wood flavor with this. Well, you can get mesquite and then you can get a mesquite flavored steak. You can get hickory. You can get all sorts of different types of wood pellets and it makes the steak incredible you guys have seen it on my channel i like to smoke at 225 low and slow and we have a bluetooth thermometer in the steak while we're doing it 
we get the internal temperature of the steak to 110 degrees. And then I bring it over here. This is another must have for a carnivore. This is a London sunshine. It's a, called a uh, egg cooker. It's just a little charcoal grill. I need to clean this one off. It's a little dirty right now, but Alyssa will come up here and show you a little closer. This thing gets incredibly hot. You can get it up to a searing temperature hot. And I will do my steaks in the smoker, low and slow, and you get that nice cherry flavor. You get them to 110 degrees, and then you bring them over here. You got charcoal in here. Throw them on there, and they sizzle, and they come out absolutely incredible. This is able to get so hot. You could just cook burger patties on one of these as well. I have the little guy, and then I have the big guy. So if I ever do a bunch of steaks or burger patties, we've got more surface areas, so we can do a bunch of them in there. Steaks taste different depending on how you cook them and you can cook them a million different ways. Now, if you don't have this elaborate setup, you can cook low and slow in your oven. I've done that before. I'll do it in the oven, and then I'll cook it hot and fast in the pan with some beef tallow and sear it in there. So if you don't have this elaborate setup or you can't afford it or you don't have the space for it, there's a million other ways to do it. Do it low and slow in the oven, hot and fast on a skillet. You can sous vide it low and slow, and then you can put it on a propane grill and sear it, or on a pan and sear it. There's a million different ways. Here's another must have. We're gonna keep, we're gonna go quick with this. We're gonna go real quick. I love this thing. I just started using it. I should have a long time ago. When you make a charcoal grill, you light the charcoal up, right? I used to foolishly, like an idiot, I would use lighter fluid and I'd pour it all over there. Well, that's chemicals, that's disgusting, that's dangerous, that's expensive. And when you put lighter fluid in this, it wrecks the enamel. This has a ceramic insert in it, it wrecks the enamel. This is a charcoal chimney. These things are a couple bucks. I'll leave a link in the description below for the one on Amazon. You put some newspaper in here in the bottom, you fill it up with charcoal, and then you light it with a match. It, a couple minutes later, this thing is flaming. It is so much easier. For, for so long, I've been using lighter fluid and when you use lighter fluid, you have a pyramid of charcoal. You're lighting it from the top. That's stupid. This lights it from the bottom. Heat rises. It heats up all of the charcoal. It was a couple minutes. I used this yesterday. A couple minutes. There were like flames coming out of this. It was super hot. And then you just, whoop, you dump it in there and you're good to go. So those, in, in a nutshell, I, I probably have a hundred other. Leave a comment down below. I know I missed a bunch of stuff. What are some of your favorite carnivore tools and gadgets and must-haves. These things I just showed you here, I use every single day. Every single day I'm drinking water out of here, every single day I'm using Redmond salt, and every single day I'm preparing steak either on a grill, a smoker, a ceramic pan, or a cast iron pan. Every single day I am using my cutting board. So I wanted to show you a couple things that I use every single day. My only other advice for you guys is return to what is natural. Try to do what is natural for humans, mainly through the foods we're eating, but get outside, get sunshine, get exercise. Everything you can do that returns you to natural will make you healthier and make you live longer and it'll make you happier and it'll help improve your mood. If you're interested in purchasing any of these things at all, you're supporting the channel, you're supporting our documentary if you purchase the Healing Humanity shirts. People are loving these for summer. We have these in women's sizes. We have V-tops, we have tank tops, um, we have all sorts of different shirts for healing humanity. We also have Compassionate Carnivore. We have shirts that say, I eat only meat, ask me why. We have a whole variety of different shirts. If you purchase the shirts, you purchase the cups, you purchase the portable travel size salt shakers, every penny goes to support our documentary. We're turning our documentary into a nonprofit. I'm never gonna make a penny off of this myself. It's a passion project. We want to reach millions of people. There's so many hopeless people in the world right now that don't need to be. And that is the ultimate goal with our documentary. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.